Hi there guys, Big Man Dan here again and this evening I have kind of a very special uh, one-off unboxing um, but before I go into that uh, I'll just give you a little bit of a, a um, heads up as to what it is. Um, I am actually wearing a clue uh, for the type of box that it is. I'm wearing a uh, Legend of Zelda t-shirt which says University of Hyrule on it so uh, that's a little bit of an easter egg but um, yeah basically tonight's box is Ta -da! It's a friggin' huge Z box, which I haven't got one of these before, but it's uh, a box from Zavi basically, and it is a special edition Legend of Zelda box. Um, so I actually got a link from uh, my mate at work, Stephen. Thanks uh, for pointing this one out to me if you're watching. And um, I can't friggin' wait because I, I do like Zelda. Uh, it's one of my favourite gaming franchises. Um, a little like memory of mine, like my first experience of Zelda was uh, I was um, on holiday in Florida with the family uh, and we were going around this like timeshare thing or well my mum and dad were uh, but all the kids were basically put in this uh, room at the back where they had loads of uh, they had about four or five different consoles from like I think it was uh, SNES to N64 and um, on one of them was the Ocarina of Time and no one was playing it so I just stepped up and luckily it was right at the start of the game and I just started it up and playing it and got into the Deku tree uh, dungeon, the very first dungeon, and uh, I just fell in love with it. And right then, when I got back home, I was like, right, I need to get this, and I need to play it, and I need to finish it. And so far, I think I've played like Ocarina of Time like seven times or something, and yeah, it's my favourite Zelda game. Um, and it, like all the, all the games are awesome. I, I haven't played all of them, but um, yeah, I'm hoping to get uh, one of them. I, I really want to get the, the mini mini NES. Because um, you get the first version of Zelda on there, even though there's other ways on there, but you know. Um, anyway, mm. that's my memory, and um, this is the box. It's freaking huge. I can't wait to open it. It's like I said, it's a special edition. There was like 500 of them, so yay, I've got one. Um, there was this tag on it already, which I, I peeled off, so um, I might even insert some uh, music here of like the chest opening theme if I can, but we'll see if that happens in the edit or not because of. If not, I'm going to do my own little jingle. So, here we go. Let's see when it opens. And now I'm going to look. And, oh wow. Okay, so there's a bit of padding because there's a couple of items in here which are quite valuable. Um, not valuable, but protectionable, protected. Uh, but, right, first off, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, Charlotte Little Red's watching this with me too because she is, she wants to play Legend of Zelda and I told her that it's one of the things, that, one of the games that she does need to play. So first item is a shield mug which is really cool. It's the Hylian uh, shield in a mug form. Now I keep saying to Little Red that we can't have any more mugs <laughs> in the house um, but I think I might make it one exception for this. Or I'm going to take it to work so that I have another mug at work because I already have, which ties in nicely to this. My brother got me a Nintendo World Link mug, and um, yeah, it's pretty much as big as this one. But I do like this. This is pretty cool. So oh. that's it. It's a very nice design on the front, and then on the back it says Zelda. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Um, next up we have. Um, this looks to be a wallet. Yeah, a wallet. But I've already got a pretty cool one from Little Red. Um, where is it? Right here. The original PlayStation 1. It's pretty cool. I'm not normally into like, all these novelty wallets because sometimes you can get them uh, and they're a little bit naff. Uh, this is official Nintendo licensing product and it is a Skyward Sword. That's the emblem from Skyward Sword. That was a good game. Uh, the Wii controls were a little, like the Wii Plus controls were a little bit finicky. Um, but so this isn't too bad. It's got a little popper for change. Um, and then it's got like some card slots and stuff, but there's still not enough. There's not enough. I need more. So um, I'll hold on to that because I do like that. That's real nice. It's nice leather. Um, and the design's really cool. So I might hold on to that. And your PlayStation 1 break. Yeah, yeah. When my PlayStation One breaks, this will be my substitute. So until that work gets me in that one. Right. Next up. Ooh, cool. This might come in handy for work. It's a Legend of Zelda 
Hyrule multi-tool and it's obviously the Triforce Crest um, and you get two screwdrivers, a bottle opener and a key ring. This is very similar to the Bats, Batman um, logo, Batman symbol uh, multi-tool I've got before because that literally had like two screwdrivers and a bottle opener. Um, I think it like folds in on itself. Yeah, okay. So I'm not going to open that up because that's pretty cool. But um, it's a little loose, what I can see in there. Um, and then the next item we have here is a. Okay, so there was. So I've got the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Um, it's called an ultra detail figure and it's got like. Japanese writing on it, so I guess this is from like the Nintendo Store in Japan or something maybe. Um, again, it's official Nintendo licensed stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I do like that. Toon Link is cool. Um, Wind Waker is a really good game. I've done that, finished that a couple of times as well. Um, and then the last item in here is, well it seems to be a book. Um, it's not the High Rule Historia, which I have got. Uh, I got that for Christmas one year from Sean's parents. Um, that's a very cool book. Um, it basically goes over all the games um, in like some like detail, like background info and stuff. And it also clarifies the chronological timeline of the Zelda games because it is so confusing. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the book. Ah, it's just a notepad. But it is lovely. It's got a nice shiny um, front page which has got the Triforce. Um, it's kind of tricky a little bit because it's so like detailed, but it's shiny, it's gold, <laughs> um, and then on the inside it's just lined paper with the um, the crest, the Triforce crest and the Skyward Sword crest on there. So it seems like a lot of these items are Skyward Sword, and um, yeah, okay, so this is, okay, right, there's a map on the back, and I'm just trying to figure out which one it could be from. Uh, it looks like it seems to be maybe like a mashup of all of them, um, because it has like the Deku tree. You've also got like the the Deku swamp from Majora's Mask. Uh, you've got Hyrule Castle, obviously, but then you've got Dragon Roost Rock from Wind Waker. So yeah, it seems to be like a mashup from quite a few games. Um, yeah, just trying to see if there's anything which maybe pinpoints it to a specific bet game, but I can't see anything. It all seems to be, yeah, no, it is definitely a mashup because you've got Skyloft as well in the top corner, and that's obviously Skyward Sword. Then you've got Death Mountain. Um, can't see anything which indicates Zora, Zora's domain, um, which is slightly weird, but. Um, yeah, I can't really see anything which would indicate that area. Uh, but never mind. Unless is this? No, no. Okay, right, that's it. I'm not going to look anymore because I'll be on that all night trying to figure out what one it is. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty cool box. I do love this actual box because inside you've got all like items that you get from the Legend of Zelda games as well. You've got like uh, obviously the Triforce, then you've got like small keys, rubies. Um, arrows, slingshots, fairies, bombs, I think that's about it, but yeah, that's a cool pattern inside, and that's a nice big box, which I think I can keep some other items in, because um, of wearing enough space. So, to recap, you got the lined pad, the uh, Wind Waker, the uh, Toon Link figure, you got the multi-tool, the um, wallet, and the mug as well. So, quite an impressive haul right there, and um, 30 quid I paid for it as it was a one-off box. Um, What's your favourite? The mug's my favourite. I like the mug. Oh, how the tables are turned! I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. You made me give my Dr. Who box mug away. Yeah, but Matt loves that. Well, I haven't met him yet. You will soon. <laughs> and you'll allow him to keep that. Um, I'm not going to take it off him, I'm not evil. Th that's a close second, because I do like that uh, notepad. Um, even though I do a lot of stuff on my computer and things, it's nice to go back to roots and just stick to pen and paper. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, 
I'm going to wrap this all up. I say wrap it up, just put it back together. And boom. There you go. The Zelda Special Edition Z-Box. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, some pretty cool items in there. Like I said, my favourite is the mug, uh, followed by the notepad. And uh, yeah, that's it for this episode basically. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, please. Um, also check out my Facebook page, just like that, if you want to keep up to date with videos as well, keep posted. My Twitter page as well, you know, Big Man Dan. Uh, you can follow me on there if you'd like, just to keep updated with any videos. And I do try to tweet when I'm playing stuff, which might interest people. Um, like I've got a couple of, uh, I, I do share trophies. When I, whenever I get platinum, I've now started sharing that on my Twitter feed, just to keep people up to date with what games I'm playing and uh, know which one I've recently plat platinum. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Um, please do all those and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!